What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and today we are going to wrap up the Konoichi on Xbox playthrough. A little bit of a quicker, probably the quickest one we'll ever do unless I do like a speed run through or something like that. So yeah, this will be the quickest one. I don't know any other way to put it. <laughs> it's just going to be the quickest one. Um, but we are here at mains. I decided to do mains because like I said in yesterday's video, I never do mains. So I decided, why not? Let's do let's let's slaughter some mains. So here's the loadout uh, that we're gonna end this off with. If I had my choices, obviously I would have better everything. So I'll go into that real quick, and uh, we'll talk about some of that stuff. So um, obviously short sword, and so if I had a choice, obviously we would want Kazarka try at least which is right here. It's the 106 to 110. Best weapon that you can get, obviously, is the Pen Kazarka, which is 5.6 billion. Um, but yeah, obviously you want Kazarka, but then obviously I would want Laverto. You don't want to go past try Laverto ever. It's just not worth it. But try Laverto is the cheaper option at 187 mil. And then your other option that I always go with, it's cheap. It's the pre kind of thing that I do if I can't get to a Laverto, and that's always Bears, Try. You can see it's not that much worse than Laverto at all, and so it's a nice step right before that. Uh, moving on, I like the new school Kunai over the Shuriken. Obviously, you either want no Nova or Kudum. Um, Nova is just straight attack. Kudum is attack and defense. I prefer straight damage, so I take uh, Nova. Try is what you're aiming for. You can see 38 to 45 defense. Pretty good. But if you cannot get there, um, which is the... I don't have it memorized. What's the attack one? Estique. You want Estique. And you want Try. So it's 33, 33, and 3 defense. That's what you're going for. Uh, and then for the Awakening weapon. Pretty easy on the Awakening weapon. Uh, not many options, so you can go with the Dandelion and try to get that one try, but obviously not many of those up. So I would go for the Oiki San Chakram, the, uh, the, uh, the not base variant one, um, and then aim for try, essentially. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple on what you kind of want, but, you know, the market's a little bit flooded right now, and so it's, it's a little iffy. Oh, hold on. I have to take my pets back out. I had Yennefer training towards level 81, so I had my pets put away. Uh, Rudolph and Reginald. That's right. Okay. So that's the pets now. I don't think I'd showed them in a while. This is also the new look pet menu. But yeah, these are the pets that we have. We have Tier 3 Sif, Tier 3 Ven, Tier 3 Coca-Cola. Tier 3 Rudolph and Tier 4 Reginald. We got good old Reginald to Tier 4, which was kind of cool. I think I'll leave. I was going to talk a little bit about the skills, but I already talked about them in the last episode. And I talked about them a little bit already. Or I'll talk about them a lot more in the PlayStation playthrough. Because uh, like I said, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I want to do with this character. I really like the character. What? That's the one thing I don't like about this, is if you mess up your combo, it does, like, the basic, like, um, the basic swing, and that swing is, like, really bad. Like, see, if I do that, and I don't properly get the spin to win off, it does that, like, awkward single strike, and I don't really like that. I still have to figure out how to use this best. It's a little bit trickier than I thought it would be. It's not bad. Okay, I can't mess that up. That creates a really awkward attack. If you mess up the switch from the awakening weapon back to the uh, your regular hand weapon, it really gives you a messed up animation, and you're just kind of standing there. So cannot have that happen. I really like the attacks here. They're, they're really nice to use. 
Oh, what I needed to do to start this episode, like I promised everybody, was that I was going to zoom out the camera. So, yeah, there's the zoomed out camera. The greatest thing that I love about this is that it has these abilities to move from pack to pack fairly quickly. See, that's the attack right there that I don't want to get caught in. I, I know it's just a matter of practice and getting used to it, but yeah, that's the attack you really don't want to get stuck in. Because if you get stuck in that... And I really love that you can go out of... Okay, as I get stunned out of the attack. I really like that you can get... Um, you can knock yourself out of that attack. Um, or not out of the attack. You can knock yourself out of Awakening Weapon into your regular weapon. I'm just trying to wait some time here so I can do it. So you can do this attack that I really love. Just straight out of your Awakening Weapon. There is no LTX. So it just auto does that. Can you die, big boy? Thank you. I mean, we might as well go into the cave. Why, the, why the heck not? go down here into the to the depths of the cave I mean there's not a whole lot down here but you might as well do it the spin to win is really good it's really long and it does a decent chunk of damage and I mean you have to keep in mind that this thing is not fully equipped this isn't like a fully equipped um, awakened weapon it's it's only plus 10 it obviously could be a lot better and so I'm going to probably... I really like the character, so I don't want it to be like, oh, I'm not playing this on Xbox, so I don't like the character. I just think it's best suited um, when I do characters... Because I'm just going to focus on very few characters on PlayStation, really, at this point. I think it's best that I... Where are you going? I think it's best that I um, play it over there because I am going to be maxing this character out on PlayStation as well, getting it to 56. And so I just think it's best if I take the time and do it over there and play it on PlayStation. Because I... Ha okay, there we go. I got myself stuck into that weird loop again where it's like... This attack is so bad. The one where it just like swings this, like the second hard swing than it does that's so bad because it's such a slow recovery of time till it lets you do anything else except hit rb again because it wants you to hit rb you can do the spin to win out of it i guess i i shouldn't say that but the spin to win it lets you do but everything else has a really slow delay out of it which kind of sucks but you can do the spin to win so i guess if i get myself into that little like trap there i need to remember that and i got knocked out i'm not i really like the regular ninja attacks i'm not sure if i love i i need to figure out combos that work with them together because right now i'm pretty much just using one and then switching back to the other you really got to figure out a better way to use it because that's really the only attack that i was using and then i was switching right back over to the awakening weapon it's all just about finding your own flow and finding out what works for you but obviously not going to get that much time to figure it out pretty much just going to work with it this episode and see what we come up with and didn't hit that guy. Okay, camera's like inside that dude. I'm pretty much already... The good thing that I'm happy about is I pretty much already am used to... This camera being zoomed out like this. I think I'm out all the way. Am I out all the way? Hold on, let me hold this. Yeah, I'm out all the way. So this is as far as I can go out. It's not as far as the PC, I don't believe. I believe the PC is a lot farther out. But this is still pretty, pretty decent. I'm just gonna leave that person alone and come over here. I mean, I just love that attack. It, it Some of the things is like, okay, at a certain point, I gotta like, like the attacks aesthetically. Like, they have to look kind of cool to me. And that's an attack that looks cool to me. 
It may not be the best attack, but like I've always said, I'm not going for like the perfect optimal build. What is this over here? I don't think I've ever come over here before. It's like a main's house. Hello, everybody. And he knocked him out. Okay. Spin the win. I have to. My 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 skill with it is not great right now. That was kind of an awkward moment right there because I I messed up a skill, and then I was like, hey, okay, well, what do I do now? Once I messed it up. This is interesting. I like how they like made this actually enterable. It's kind of weird. But I have a lot of fun here at Mains. I'm going to start doing a little bit more stuff here. But you never really come here in the story. Which is really, you know, you guys know. The majority of what I've done in this game relates to the story. So you don't really come here all that often. And so that's why I haven't done Mains very much. But I do love Mains. go. Spin the win. Should clean him up. There we go. I don't want to make this video too long for you guys. I'll probably go for about 20 minutes or so, but don't want to make it like too long on you guys. Kind of forget my combos a little bit with the character. I know that, um... A lot of the attacks are like forward jump and like this backwards one. And the cooldowns on them are not terribly long. Let's see here. Have we gotten any good? Ooh, we got plus 11 Kriegsmeyer. Plus 2, plus 3, not crazy, plus 1. Not anything crazy, but not anything terrible. I do like that spin to win, it is great for farming. We've tried, I, I know over the progression of me playing this game, we've tried to get away from me doing, like, spam stuff, but that, uh, the spin to win is really nice. Especially for just farming mobs like this. It's very nice. We got a forbidden book, nice, that's about a mil. Been finding a lot of those. Ooh, there we go, that was a little bit... That was a little bit different, and then I got... Okay. That was actually not bad. Back, and then slice forward. That was a mistaken... That was a misclick. This character is very easily punishable. If you mess up your... Whatever skill you're trying to do, it's very, very, very punishable. See, I love that attack, but it is really slow. Hello? Do my spin... Okay. It's just not gonna do my spin to win right there. That's fine. Didn't need it, but that was weird. Kinda awkward. Didn't want to do it. So yeah, pretty much I want to... Like I said, I want to make this the second character that I use regularly on PlayStation. Um, I'm still trying to figure out if I... See, it'll be my main character on PlayStation if I end up not liking Ranger's Awakened form. I'll be heavily disappointed if I don't like Ranger's Awakened form, but... I mean, it wouldn't surprise me at all if I don't, because I haven't liked a lot of Ranger to begin with. I thought you'd be one shot. Nope. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me at all if the akimbo swords just end up not being my favorite thing. I'd be a little bit disappointed because I really wanted to like Ranger, but it wouldn't surprise me at all, I guess is what I'm saying. I'm hopeful, but I'm op or I'm being realistic with it, I guess. There we go. Little bit, getting a getting a little bit of a flow going, and then my problem is is it's hard to deal with like just a single enemy, because it's like I want to do something 
like the attacks are more grand for this that they're like okay you hit multi enemies it's not really the single right bumper is like really hot trash so I don't want to do it I do love that it has like this block well not the I don't even know how to do it I thought it was RB uh, okay I thought it was RBRT at the same is it mm, that's the spin to win that's the upper slash oh it's that it's the upper slash and then the slam the shield forward you can also LB, or L, yeah, LB, to just throw up the Lunar Veil shield. Still trying to figure some stuff out here. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go up here. I do really love that it has these, like, move-to-target attacks, which are just great. Because not all of the characters have the greatest, like, mob-to-mob -mob movement. But, like, being able to both, with the Crescent out, you, you have this attack, and then you also have the back one that brings you right to enemies, which is great. And then with the regular sword, you have this attack, which gets you in, which is perfect. So it just has great pack-to-pack -pack mobility. And with the limited time I spend on PlayStation, I think having a character that can farm relatively nicely and quickly, I think it's it's probably a good idea. So that's why that's why I made kind of the executive decision that I really like this character, but I'm going to use it as a PlayStation character and not an Xbox character. It'll still be on here. It'll be level 56, and that'll be cool. But like I said. It'll kind of just be an afterthought here on Xbox. Maybe I'll come back to it. Who knows? Maybe if I really love it on PlayStation after really nailing down a rotation, I will come back to it on Xbox. But never really know. I am happy. I'm kind of getting back into the flow of Black Desert and... Starting to get some stuff down, not so rusty. I feel like some of those initial videos I put out when I came back, it was like uber rust. And it just wasn't pretty. I will probably end up selling all the gear on here because it'll be a couple months at least before I come back to this character on Xbox. If I ever come back to it like as a regular playing character. So I don't want to keep gear on it, even the... You know, like the plus 10s, they're going to be worse stuff right now. And I'll show that here because we're about to, I'm about to wrap it up. Uh, so yeah, I want to just, we'll go over kind of the profit that I'm going to get off of this. Which will be good. I got to do, I got to do my favorite attack. That's got to be kind of the last thing. So let me come over here. Hello, everybody. All right, kite over here. I need you guys to kite over here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Everybody kite up. There we go. There we go. That's what I like to see. Why is it not doing... I don't know. There's a couple of awkward things with this class that I don't quite always get, but that's all right. All right, so... That's the final pack we're going to kill. I'm going to try to get to at least the road so no random mobs spawn on me and ruin this. And then we'll go over kind of the pricing of how things go and where equipment is going to head head to. I really like how she carries the... I'm not even going to try to... Whatever it's called. The Sa Chakram or whatever it's called. What is it called? The Sona Sa Chakram. I like how she carries it over her shoulder. I just really think it's a really well done character uh, and that's why I'm willing to make it like my main on PlayStation because that's how much I like this character. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and just sell, I can't sell the Dim Magical Kunai obviously, but we can sell the the two Sana Chakrams and the Laverto Short Sword. So if we go to the Central Market, actually, well, the Laverto Short Sword is going to head to my Tamer, which will be coming back to the Tamer. Uh, soon in the future. Um, let's see here. Central Market. 
Awakening, uh, Sa Chakram. So at plus 10, I know there's a bunch available, so it's going to be a little awkward because, but it's 2 million. I might keep it on the account, um, on, uh, in my storage at 2 million because it's going to take forever to sell anyway. So does it really have a purpose? Not really. This one, there is 15 up. I will probably upgrade this because I can upgrade it cheaply, but at minimum it's 1.6 mil, which is really nice. So you can see people got it to plus 14 and that's 40 mil. So that'll obviously be the goal. Uh, but if I was going to sell the Laverto short sword, uh, I believe we have duo, right? It'd be 114 mil. It'd be the only one up. So I would be able to price it up to 122 mil, which would be, which would be nice. Real quick, because I'm curious, did I sell what I want to sell? N no. Can can I please sell these stupid duo blue coral earrings? I want them to sell. Give me. I want my 44 mil. I want my 44 mil soon. Soon. If I would, I chose levels over the upgraded uh, gloves. Probably not the video to talk about this, but we're waiting on Beg's gloves. That's kind of the next increase that I'm making to my armor is bags but I need 515 million to upgrade and really it's more than that I like how my Agarian gloves are just as good it just we get accuracy with this um how there is oh no 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 there's not one up so I'd have to pay max price of 550 mil I want to have like 600 and something mil before I buy that because I don't want to spend all my money on that but I've been using these uh, Book of Training Combats for an hour uh, to level up my Sork. So I've, I think I spent like 100 mil on those on my Sork for like 100 hours of time. So yeah, it'll, I, I'm hoping maybe like end of February. I know that sounds like ridiculously far away, but I'm hoping like end of February I can I'll upgrade to Beg's Gloves, and, and then we kind of start moving a little bit quicker. I, like, I have a mental plan of what I want to get and all of that different stuff, but we just, you know, we just got to get there. But uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. Obviously, if you want to see more Konoichi stuff. I'm not sure if I'll have another video today or not. Um, with PSO 2 tonight, I'm not... Or tomorrow, P there won't be another video today. I'm an idiot. There won't be another video. I'm talking about tomorrow. There will be a BDO video, but I'm not sure which one it is. Um, if you want to see more Konoichi, it might be Konoichi PS4 tomorrow. Not entirely sure, but there will be some BDO video in the morning. I'm getting my days mixed up. But yeah, BDO video tomorrow morning. Catch it if you can. Watch the PSO2 stuff. You guys know how excited I've been for that to come out. It's not going to take away BDO from the channel, but I am going to be playing it. And I'm going to be playing it a ton of Friday and Saturday while we got the chance during the closed beta. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll stop babbling on like I always do to end these videos. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Peace.